It was late in the evening on Saturday, December 13th, 2014. There was a junior hockey league tournament at the Lake Delton Ice Rink. People have kind of been feeling sick throughout the weekend, but it was actually sort of the last night of the tournament that after the game was over and there weren't a lot of people left in the rink, one of the players uh, actually collapsed and, and passed out in the locker room. An ambulance arrived and crews determined that there was a high likelihood that that player, as well as others, were experiencing CO poisoning symptoms. There were 92 people who actually ended up in the emergency department. Pretty much everyone reported nausea, uh, headaches, vomiting, lightheadedness, dizziness, these kind of things that are associated with carbon monoxide poisoning. After this event, we did start to kind of wonder about whether or not there were possibly other events that we weren't detecting, um, that we weren't being made aware of and we wanted to have a system in place to notify us of, of those events if that happened. The National Environmental Public Health Tracking Program is a CDC program that I tend to think of as public health surveillance supersized. It is the ongoing collection, integration, management, analysis, and dissemination of data on health, on environmental conditions, and on exposures. It includes um, CDC, and it includes our state grantees and our local grantees. So we actually fund 25 states and New York cities to create tracking networks that are components of the national tracking network. Wisconsin was one of the first states to join the tracking network back in 2002, and we've been active in it uh, ever since then after Lake Delton. What it really brought home was the need to have real-time information, to be notified right away, and actually having staff available to be able to begin to mount a uh, response. In collaboration with the Wisconsin Poison Center, we came up with a system by which staff at the tracking program can get that information in real time, and that 24 hours a day, someone would know if there was an anomalous number of people calling the Poison Center about a carbon monoxide related concern. That allows us to have the ability to marshal resources. And provide the richness that a public health response uh, can provide to augment what is done by the emergency response on the site. The tracking network is more than just an IT resource. It's more than just a system. It's really a philosophy. It brings together the people that use the data. It really has created not only an IT network, but a people network. Users can query data. They can also enter their zip code or county and provide uh, infographic-based information on where they live, which is very easy to digest. Users have access to 1.7 million unique maps. And these maps help them to compare and contrast their environmental health information at the state, county, and local level. In addition to that, they have access to 385 environmental health measures, making up 1.1 million rows of data in our tracking repository. States that are unfunded have a number of ways they can benefit from the tracking program. They can access data from CDC's national portal that um, has some information for various states that we don't fund. They also can work on a mentorship program that we've established, a fellowship program really with the Association of State and Territorial Health Officials. And it will allow an unfunded state or a county or a city to um, receive a small amount of funding for a project in environmental health that really is a priority for them. It allows them to partner with a funded state or locale so that they can gain from their experience and it allows them to um, work more closely with CDC and where possible attend workshops that we have. Every day we learn more about things in our environment that could harm us. The challenge to the tracking program then is how do we collect data on those things and how do we put them in a framework, the surveillance system that allows us to link them to health. So when something new comes up, it's, it's incumbent upon us to think about how we can add those data to the tracking program so we're continually evolving, we're continually growing, we're adding more and more data sets so we continue to address the important concerns that we have across the country today. And more importantly, we continue to address the emerging concerns that come up every day.